What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today we're going to be talking about the Dawning Winter event and the possible cost of it. But before we get into the video, at the end if you guys do enjoy it, do indeed drop a like as the support really helps out. Okay, so the winter event, the dawning, coming December 13th. Many people, including YouTubers, streamers, etc, etc, are hyping the shit out of this fucking thing. I mean, hyping the fucking shit up. But not many people are talking about the possible downsides of it. That is what I am here for. For sure though, I am excited for it and what it offers, as Destiny is as dry as an old man's bullsack at the moment. However, I ain't excited for how these things have a tendency of draining my wallet. So what exactly are we getting that's free? Well Sparrow Racing League's very own record book is free. Pretty sure last season it wasn't but this time around I do believe that it has been confirmed that it's free and the loot rewards for doing each objective and ranking that book up do not come at a cost which is pretty good. Also Sparrow Racing League is obviously free and earning the end of game loot is also free. Remember the armor from Spiral Racing League has been confirmed to be upgradable to the current light level, which again is pretty cool. But what about the sparrows we have seen that are coming with this dawning event? Now I'm guessing a couple are unlocked via the Spiral Racing League's record book, but there were more than a few confirmed to be coming. We also saw quite a few new weapon ornaments for fan favorite weapons as well, like the Icebreaker, the Last Word, the Red Death, the Black Spindle and a few others. Where are these obtained from? But before I confirm that, there's also that fucking epic looking armour that we saw from the trailer and a few pictures from gameplays. Well, I can confirm that the armour is dawning themed armour and as we know it does look epic. Bungie tweeted out these exclusive images of it so we can get a closer look at one piece from each class's armour set. Unfortunately though, this amazing looking armour is acquired from the treasures of the dawning. These obviously being the new purchasable loot boxes from that scamming biatch Tess. Now there isn't any mention just yet of if these treasures of the dawning will be obtainable through progress of the game or only available to buy for that silver currency costing you that real life dollar dollar. Although I don't have an issue with Bungie doing this, basically selling the best looking available loot but at least make it available for people who can't afford to spend extra money, make it available in game somehow. I truly do think and actually hope that Bungie have learnt the lesson from the mistake of the festival of the cost and how the community reacted about it from their money making scheme on that. Surely they won't make that same mistake again. So let's check out what could be some of the possible contents of these treasures of the dawning packages. I do believe they will have their own very exclusive set of sparrows. Obviously a couple of emotes and possibly a shader and emblem. We know they offer the sexy dawning themed armour and they also offer all the new weapon ornaments. So obviously they contain some decent things and like I said I do not have an issue with them doing this, selling these packages in game when people choose to purchase them, that's at their own accord. But they do need other ways for people to obtain them. Remember with the Radiant Treasure packages when they first come around you could earn 3 per week per character. That's 9 chances per week to get that taken gear which was all the big hyped gear with them packages. And although not enough for many, it was way better than what's obtainable per week now and what was obtainable without purchasing with the Festival of the Lost and the packages they offered. All I am saying is I truly hope Bungie offers us as players a way to earn without spending extra money if we don't have to. Now it has been confirmed that we will receive daily presents. What these are and what they contain at the moment is unknown. Could they offer contents from the Treasures of the Dawning? Are they in fact Treasures of the Dawning? At the moment we don't know. One thing to add though before I end the video, they have given us new exotics and armors to obtain without the vault space. Hopefully sometime soon, extra vault space is mentioned, as I for one fucking need that shit. But guys that is it, that is the end of the video, let me know your opinion on this down below in that comments section. Are you not looking forward to this event because of the last event? I know a lot of people are thinking that way. Festival of the Cast was a great disappointment to many people. And a lot of people are still in two minds about coming back to play Destiny for this event because they think it's going to be the same shit. Hopefully it ain't. But guys, thanks for stopping by as always and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. But you and I will carry on. You never get it right.